My name is Diana Torres, and I am the theater arts teacher at Sally B. Howard School. I also, I am also coordinating the arts and humanities program. This year is my first year as a dean, and uh, I'm here to explain to you what is the Lean Right Professional Teaching Grant. Uh, last year, Lori Melnick, which is uh, my mentor in this project, Lori Melnick comes from Tennessee, from Skia the Southeastern Center that is training us on how to integrate the arts into the different subjects. So she she thought that Sally B is a very unique place, that our program is being developed so well, and she thought that I, that I could apply for this grant. So we had to submit a project, and this project had to be uh, very well explained what were the plans. This uh, Lean Wright grant is uh, for us to expose our theater program more to our community, um, expand our program. So uh, in February 2011, I submitted that um, project. It had to be very specific on what you wanted to do with that project, with that money. So the, uh, the project we submitted or I submitted was, I wanted to direct and produce a bilingual play. My idea behind this is that many, many times we have a lot of misconceptions about uh, the Hispanic community or any any kind of cultural group that we have in the United States. Sometimes we just walk by one another and we never take the time to to really know each other. Many times we misinterpret actions or, or words or things that we say because we really never take the time to to sit down and understand each other sit down and um, comprehend what is the background of that person so that's how this started the project had a specific requirements it had to be bilingual it also had to have some audience interactions so the audience could also kind of be involved in the process of the understanding and, and it also had to address some understanding among the school community as well as the community here in Wilson, North Carolina. Um, the play, the project that we are working on right now is um, a wonderful play written by the students and inspired by their own acting. What we did or the approach I took it was inspired in this new theater called in the 1960s, the new theater in Colombia, in Bogota, Colombia, by Buenaventura. Um, and his approach was to bring social issues or political issues into the, onto the stage with a group of actors. And those actors would, uh, was de were developing the story as they were improvising. He was not the first one doing it, and he probably will never be the only one doing it, of course. but. That was the approach that we took. So that's the process how we started it. 
the first lessons, some of the first lessons that I taught with the students were um, just understanding each other. That was the key element in this project. So we took a lot of um, time on developing the characteristics of us as groups. Uh, we have we have in my class represented three groups, three cultural groups, uh, and two of them are heavily represented. So we took our time to uh, read about history, about historical background, why some of the things um, come come this way or that way. Another time that we took is once we learn about the general culture, the African American culture, the Hispanic culture, once we learn like generally about all of us, then we want to share a little bit more about our perception, um, the kids, their generation, how they conceive themselves, how, how much of these theory, what is said about them is true. So they, we had very good moments in sharing um, traditions, um, cultural um, cultural issues that happens in our families, um, things that about sometimes about our religion, the things that we do because of that, the differences on our festivities, the differences in the way that we celebrate things. It was a, a very intense work, and from there we started to look for a conflict. We started to look for a central conflict. We develop, I, I develop a lot of lessons on what is conflict and how it happens in drama and how it's essential for drama. So we were looking and looking and looking for a central conflict that could lead us to the theme, which was how, how we misunderstand each other when we don't take the time to understand um, other people. So we came up with a central conflict and around that central conflict, we started to, to see the reactions and repercussions. When you see something or when you hear something, and you make your own interpretations, and maybe your interpretation is right, maybe it's not. What are these other characters around this event, around this central conflict? What are they interpreting? How they are conceiving this, um, this event that happens in front of them? So that's how the play started. The play at this point is done, is completed. And the process was this. We had the central idea, the central theme, and then we went to this specific event that showed the conflict, uh, a conflict and a secret that these two, two characters keep. And then we started to walk out to work, um, like in outer circles. What is the next step? What is these people around them thinking? And then what is out there? So it was very interesting. They improvised some of the scenes and then we did kind of, we, we called it speed writing. After their improvisations, they just sat down and continued the, continued the story writing. It was interesting. We could see characters um, being, you know, the birth of a character right there in an improvisation and sparkling a lot of ideas. And, and from there to create a whole story and to create the line for this character, it was a very intense work, very interesting. And the play ended up to be really good with great conflicts and great secrets are kept, are kept in this art in this plot the plot is very it's, you know very it has a lot of little corners where you can make a lot of assumptions because that's the idea the the plot will take you to create your own interpretations and your own assumptions in some point until the truth is revealed and uh, it ex it, ex it exposes how much we walk in fear how much we fear to show who we are, how much we walk in the fear of not knowing each other and um, just making all the time interpretations to what we think it should be or it is. So the play is now done. We're in the process of rehearsals and the show is going to be open March the 1st uh, and March the 2nd in the morning. And we will be very delighted to have you here. The title of the play is Without a Cover. And this is a, a key element in our story. It's, it's a key element for this particular story. So I hope you all come to see it.
juice, swag, got that juice, 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 swag, juice, swag, juice, swag, juice, swag, juice, swag, got that juice, swag, got that juice, juice, swag. Juice, swag, got that juice. Swag, got that juice. Swag, juice.